Hello everyone, in this episode we are going to focus on the royal family of Windenburg again because Princess Alice will be having her baby soon. Right now we are watching Princess Amira. She's just standing at the front door for some reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, but I know that, so someone uh, commented on one of our videos saying that we're supposed to eat carrots to have a baby boy. And I'm going to be honest, I have no idea where to find carrots. Uh, so I had an idea to check, like, can I order groceries from the refrigerator? Um, have dinner. Serve dinner. Upgrade. Hire staff. No, I can't. Um, what about from the computer? I, I know I can, like, order seeds from the computer, but... I don't have time to grow it because Princess uh, Alice, or, oh gosh, oh my goodness, Queen Alice is going to be having her baby really soon, so why don't, uh, okay, I don't know, order, order, garlic seed seeds, medicine, gifts, oh, can I order a carrot as a gift, is that a thing, I guess we'll find out. I can order an apple, so maybe I can order a carrot. <gasps> carrot, carrot. Oh, no, no. I just passed the C's and I don't see a carrot on there. Well, shoot. Oh, no. I should have learned this before. All right, I'm going to look it up. Okay, I just saw that we can buy carrots from the produce sand stand in uh, the spice district of San Machine. My, oh, I never know how to pronounce this. My Shuno. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I just, so I just Googled this. So that's what the internet says. So if you're ever looking for carrots, now you know, if you didn't know that, because maybe I'm the only one who knew, didn't know that. Uh, so we're, I guess we have to go to the Waterside Warble. Is it because no one lives here? I'm assuming that's why I can't go there. Okay. Well, let's go to the produce stand then. We're going to go by ourselves. Okay, so we are at the Waterside Warbo in San Maishuno. So let's go find the produce stand. Buy produce. Yes. This is the best. I'm so glad I found this. I was worried. I also, I, I'm really hoping though it's not too late to try to get us to get a boy because I think that like it's kind of preset what you're going to have at some point in your pregnancy and I don't know when that point is. So let's buy a carrot, yes! Okay, I'm gonna buy three, and then she's gonna eat all of them. So we're buying our carrots, and we're gonna eat them. Eat carrot, yes. Okay, she is eating it really weird. You do not eat carrots like that. Eat carrots. Why do they eat them like that? That's weird. That's bothering me. All right, eat another one. We're gonna force feed you carrots. <laughs> She's eating it wrong. All right, how many do I have to eat? I don't know. I know that if I I need to try this sooner though because if we do end up getting a girl, I think it's going to be because like we tried this theory too late. Um, so next time I know whoever's pregnant next, if I, we want a boy, we'll give them carrots. But uh, can someone tell me what to eat if you want a girl? Because I'd love to know that too. Is it apples? I feel like I heard that it was apples, but if you guys know it's something else, please let me know in the comments. Uh, so, all right, we just need to eat a carrot, and we should be having a baby pretty soon. Other, oh, oh gosh, I thought it, that sounded like a, a police siren for a second. Oh my gosh, is she doing like, <gasps> man, she's partying when she's pregnant. She's inciting cheers. This is hilarious to watch. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Princess Al or Queen Alice. Oh my god, can I please keep a tally of how many times I do that? <laughs> Queen Alice is just hopping up and down. She's inciting cheers. That's hilarious. Oh, and she gave him a great tip too. Oh, I thought she was gonna hug that person for a second. I'm like, you don't really know them? Is she doing it again? Man, she's pumped. She must be like super excited to have a baby. So Queen Alice is now finally in labor. Um, so she's having her baby. I have brought King Henry here and I think I'm actually going to have them go to the hospital just because we haven't done that yet. Um, so I mean, I might as well do that once with you guys. So we will have them go to the hospital. So it might take some time because I know that 
I don't know, just they take a while to go to the bed where they actually have their baby, and then it's just this long thing, but um, it, it's a fun experience, so we will go ahead and do that. So yes, we will join her at the hospital. Okay, so we've made it to the hospital. Uh, Queen Alice is incredibly uncomfortable. King Henry is freaking out. Even though this is his third child, he should be used to it by now. Uh, but Queen Alice, it looks like she's going right ahead with the doctor to have the baby. So that's good because I there have been times where I've just had to wait for so long for them to have the baby. So I'm glad she's finally just going ahead to go do this. It is definitely a scary process um, if childbirth wasn't scary enough, then this obviously is very unrealistic, but it makes it worse. Um, so there's just like tools coming at us and they take out your heart sometimes at some point and it's just, it's a lot. So uh, Queen Alice has every right to be uncomfortable right now. Uh, but it looks like this is actually happening very fast and a much quicker process than I have ever had to deal with at uh, the, when I bring the Sims to the hospital when they're having their baby. So that's definitely a good sign. Um, so, uh, let's see, we are just going to wait for the tools to start. We have a doctor, an actual doctor, who is delivering our baby. I've had times where it's been, like, an intern delivering the baby, and I'm like, I don't want that. So, we have an actual doctor. Oh my goodness, okay, we have a baby boy! So, it looks like that whole carrot theory worked. Um, so, we finally, yay, we have a baby boy. So I've been debating between Prince James or Prince Kellen, because we haven't had a James yet, but we've had a King Kellen, so it'd be King, Kel Kel King Kellen the second, and it'd be nice to have other, like, the seconds and the thirds other than just Henry, because um, I don't want this to turn into, like, the English Tudor monarchy where they had, like, King Henry all the way to King Henry VIII because the actual King Henry VIII has such a bad reputation. So I don't want us to have a sim that is King Henry VIII. Uh, and we would have like a long way to go before that actually happened, but still. I don't know. Um, or we could have a Prince George who would be Prince George II after his grandfather. He could be named after his grandfather. That's actually a really good idea. Um, George. Let's see. King Helen or King George? Hmm. Why don't we do, he did love his father a lot. I think we're going to go with George, I think. No, I like the name Kellen, guys. I'm sorry, I'm debating this way too much. Um, I really do love the name Kellen, so I think we're going to do that. We'll go with Prince Kellen, then the next one. Not not our generation, but the next generation can have um, a, a Prince George or King George. Um, so we're going to go with that. So this would be Prince Kellen. Um, and then I think it would be... Do, I never... Oh, no, I can't even fit the second in there. Um, so, yeah, we are going... Wait, okay, I just need to make sure if I were to name him King Kellen, if I could fit... I can fit that. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. Um, so, yeah, we'll just stick with Prince, oh, Prince Kellen. Um, and then, yeah, so now we have a baby boy, guys. Oh, this is so exciting. It's a baby boy with two older sisters. So he's actually not going to be, um, I mean, he's kind of like way behind his sisters, which is fine because his parents are, I mean, they're still fairly young. They'll probably still be pretty young by the time he becomes the king. Um, I always thought it would be interesting, and I saw one of our viewers commented about this, um, if he, why is she wearing that outfit? I need to change that outfit, because that's a Willow Creek outfit. Um, oh, he's crying, and she's trying to calm him down and kiss him. Um, but yeah, I always wondered what it would be like if our king, like, the parents died really young, so the king had to become the ruler at a very young age. Um, so I saw one of our users commented that they said that they were doing a royal kingdom challenge and they had to do that. So that would be interesting. Um, but we're going to go ahead and head back to the castle of Windenburg. And I think uh, now would be a good time to age up uh, Princess May. She is a baby right now, but she's, it's about time for her to be a toddler. I think it said that she was going to be a toddler very soon anyway. So yeah, we're going to age them up. Okay, so we are back at the Windenburg Palace, and we need to go ahead and age up Princess May. Um, and then one of our other viewers commented that they think that they would have waited to have the baby until both the girls were toddlers, but I think 
now is a good time to have them both be toddlers because, yeah, we do want to focus on Princess uh, May and Princess Amira as much as possible. Um, they wouldn't be the type to, like, ignore their daughters. They don't, like, I mean, they wanted a boy, obviously, but it was more to have, like, one of each not really to have um like just a boy like their obsession with having a boy to be the ruler of their kingdom um so yeah so I think that oh and it looks like Princess May is crying right now so we definitely need to I don't know if she needs to be fed or if she just needs attention uh but we also want to uh, snuggle our new baby boy because he's really cute. Uh, so I think that we'll go ahead, age up Princess May, then I'll probably end the video here. Um, I'm trying to think for the next video what would be the main focus. I know that the king and, or not the king and queen, Prince Adrian and now Princess Lindsay of Oasis Springs, they are pregnant, so they'll be having a baby very soon. And I think that Princess Anna, we also want to focus on her because she's now a young adult and she has just um, gotten into a relationship with um, Sir Marshall from Brindleton Bay. So that's new. Um, and then we're also trying to figure out the whole thing, like if she would be an actress or not. So we need to figure that out too. Um, but anyway, yeah. So why don't we have Queen Alice is going to age up Princess May. Maybe we can get her to stop crying because she won't stop crying. Did we feed her yet? Bottle feed her because her diaper isn't dirty. So I do not know what is wrong with her. So we're just trying to comfort her a little bit. Um, okay, so she can bottle feed her and then we're going to age her up. I just, oh gosh, when they just cry nonstop, it's just a little irritating. Prince Callum is very hungry. All right. Well, we'll bottle feed him, um, and then we can age up Princess May. Did I already do that? No, bottle feed. Okay. And then we will age her up. Okay. So now we're going to have two toddlers and one baby. This is exciting. It's finally nice to have, like, kids in the house again. It's been so long. So we finally get to have a kid. Yay! All right, so we are having her age up, Princess May aged up, um, and then she is definitely the wild one, for sure. There's no doubt about it. Um, so she's going to be wild. Oh my gosh, and she has brown hair! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, the girls are, like, they look different. They look totally different. What color are her eyes? I really want to see this. Are they, like, gray? Let's see. Um... They are, I need to get a good look at her. I really want to see her. Let's see, her eyes are gray. They are, they're like a pale blue gray. Oh, which, oh, I didn't even realize that is the color of Queen Alice's eyes too. I always thought she had brown eyes, but it looks like she has gray eyes. So, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So Princess Amira looks exactly like her father and Princess May looks exactly like her mother. This is so, I'm so excited, guys, because Princess Cora and Princess Anna, they looked exactly alike, pretty much. Um, they were, like, different in some ways, but they did look very similar. Um, so I'm excited to see what uh, color hair and eyes or who Prince uh, Kellen ends up looking like. That's going to be super exciting. Um, so I'm going to end this video here so in the next video we can focus a little bit more on Princess Anna and maybe the Kingdom of Oasis Springs. And we can also check up on uh, Princess Cora because she is dealing with some triplets right now. So we'll see how that's going. They, I, I don't think they'll age up for a while. So actually maybe that will be not the next episode, but the episode after when we can check up on them. Because three toddlers is something different. I mean, there's like one thing to have three babies, but three toddlers, having triplets that are toddlers, it's just insane. Um, so yes, yeah, so we'll end this video here. Please comment, like, share, and we will see you guys the next episode.